next visit Hog Island with the trustees of reservations, Don Paquin. You've never been out, out here then? Have you been here to try your life? Yeah, never been out here. This is the Crane Wildlife Refuge, owned and operated by the trustees of reservations. It consists of five islands, two of which we can go on today. Uh, we're landing on Long Island and going to Showdown, which, if you're from the area, everyone knows it as Hog Island. Owned and operated by the trustees of reservations. We now have 100 properties throughout Massachusetts. Dedicated to saving crops of exceptional scenic, ecological, and historical significance to Massachusetts for the public's use and enjoyment. Um, this was originally way back. Uh, there were three working farms on here from the early 1700s. Uh, originally, John Choke had, had a farm out here. Then there was the Burnham Farm and the Proctor Farm. Uh, eventually, uh, the lineage of Choke site sold to the Crane family. And the Crane family Gave it to the of in, in Visitors are invited to view Hog Island, the Crane Wildlife Refuge, and the historic Choke Farm. Here they can experience the abundance of nature, sightseeing, and bird watching. <laughs> Choke Farm Barn dates from 1730 or so and was used as recently as 1995 as an indoor movie set for the Hollywood film The Crucible. All right, tell me about this White House again. White House was built by the Crane family. He built it because he had uh, sheep out here and he, he built it for the shepherd. Um, it has a point spring so it has some of the clearest, finest water you could, could imagine. Um, it's rented to a private individual. Um, we don't allow them to use the generator except for to charge up the water system. So they do everything with oil lamps and stuff. It's very rustic and laid back. Now we're being taken to the original Choate farmhouse for a private and exclusive tour. This house has remained pretty much untouched for 283 years. The most activity you had out here was during the day of the farming or the Agawam Indians. This was a summer home of the Agawam Indians. Now down along the bank is this whole bank. If you dig into it, see the whole coast of the Maine, and when we get to the top, we'll be able to see that. There was a tribe called the Terratines that was said to be perhaps cannibalistic that would attack the Agawams every fall after they set up all their stores. But from the top of the hill, you could actually see them coming down, down the coast in their longboats. So the movie, The Crucible, starring Daniel Day-Lewis and Winona Ryder, was filmed on Hog Island in 1995. The film crew constructed an entire 17th century village around the Choate farmhouse. By contract, the temporary village had to be disassembled at the conclusion of the shoot. I rented a helicopter and took these one-of-a-kind shots while the village was still on site. Initials of the second generation of Chotes in the children, the 15th of July, 1756. I want to show you this, this uh, chimney. With your light. And this supports the entire chimney structure all the way to the roof. Yeah. 
Maybe you saw that one fireplace that you did. There's another one on the other side. Yeah. Um, so we'll, we'll go back up and we'll look at that too. But look at this beam here. Yeah. That is, that is immense. This is the typical front hall of an 18th century home. It had the front door. Yeah, this is, we think, 1725 to 1735. Okay, as soon as you came in, you had the stairway upstairs, and the parlor was to the left, and... Now, I'm told that this, yeah. which opens up to the chimney, was where they stored milk during the winter to keep it from freezing. Next to the chimney? Yeah. Cool. Someone says, isn't that where they hid from Indians? And like, <laughs> yeah, there's this door right there. I'm sure they would <laughs> The Indians would have found it. <laughs> Up in the Choate House attic, Don and I found 18th century corn cobs in between the floorboards. These had been eaten, dried, and used as attic insulation. Pretty clever. When they had the other side going, they would probably cook more in here. Even though at one time, there were um, things that came out of the wall for a for... cat. At the summit of Hog Island are the graves of Cornelius and Minnie Crane, and a magnificent view of Mount Agamenticus in Maine and New Hampshire's Isles of Shoals.